So I'm gonna share with you my recipe for homemade chicken noodle soup with homemade noodles and sauteed chicken, sauteed vegetables, lots of seasonings. Always salt and pepper to your taste at the end and add as much citrus or acid, which means hot sauce, apple cider vinegar, or lemon juice, one of those three that you want. But um, before we get there, before we get to the end, we've got to start with our egg noodles. So to start out, we're gonna put about uh, two and a half cups of flour, so in a bowl, and about half a cup of flour onto the cupboard. So you're starting with about three cups of flour, and then you're just going to take about a half a teaspoon of salt. This is a baby spoon, so, um, and just kind of stir that salt into the flour doesn't have to be perfect but just kind of loosely stir it in and then you're gonna just make a little well in the center and we're going to dump in two eggs that have been slightly beaten and a half a cup of evaporated milk you can use any kind of milk this is all I had on hand was either evaporated milk or almond milk so um, and a, a couple tablespoons of melted butter. And then we're just gonna grab a fork and stir that all together. So you just wanna kinda stir from the center outward and keep incorporating more of that flour as you go. These are again, just very basic egg noodles. If you wanted to add a little more flavor, you could add like some garlic powder, or onion powder, or a little parsley, or you know, just kind of jazz it up if you wanted to add some type of seasoning into the noodles themselves. But noodles typically don't have um, extra, you know, seasoning. So then we're going to just add another few tablespoons or so of milk until that just kind of combines into a nice little ball. So you want it to just kind of hold together so you can see that it's starting to kind of clump together. And then we're going to knead it for just, you know, five minutes or a few minutes or so. So we're just going to kind of grab that dough and fold it over to knead it and then just kind of punch it down with your fist and just repeat that until it's nice and combined all the way through. It should be even all the way through and not sticking really badly to your bowl. Like it's a little bit sticky, but it shouldn't be um, so wet that you can't pick it up off of the bowl. So then we're gonna just go ahead and take that and wrap it in wax paper and let it set for about 10 minutes and just kind of let it rest um, before we roll it out into our noodles. This is just the dough in the wax paper resting and I've floured the surface. So these are the other ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some celery, some green onions or white onions or yellow onions you could use, um, some carrots, some chicken, either chicken breast strips or some kind of um, pieces of uncooked chicken off the bone. So I heated a couple tablespoons of oil in a pan and then I'm just gonna drop in a little bit of oregano. This is just a dash or so of ginger, um, some lemon pepper seasoning and a little dash of sage and then also some garlic powder. Now, if you have fresh garlic, that's preferable to go ahead and um, let those garlic cloves actually um, kind of brown in the oil. Next, we're going to pop the cubed chicken on top of those spices. So you just drop the cubed chicken on top of those spices and stir. Now you can use chicken from my drunken chicken recipe or rotisserie chicken or uh, maybe you want to uh, roast the chicken or do something else to you know cook your your chicken meat but this is just a nice way to make 
chicken noodle soup um, if you don't plan to do other things with like a whole entire chicken. So this is just a very quick and immediate way to make your meat and also just make it very flavorful because all of those spices are really incorporating into the flavor of the meat as it's cooked. So it's not just, you know, bland chicken going into the soup. It's going to be flavorful from the start. And also just the sauteing process adds a little flavor to the meat as well. Um, it's just always more flavorful than meat that's boiled. If you're going to be making a dish that doesn't have, you know, huge spicy flavors like a chicken noodle soup, it's nice to just have all of the flavors that you do have in there uh, be as rich as possible. So again, this is just um, chicken breast and oregano, garlic powder, ginger, lemon pepper, a little bit of sage. If you don't have fresh onions, you can always use onion powder as well. I like to use green onions instead of um, white or yellow or red onions for soup, just because sometimes the big onion bulbs just get a little mushy when you're making a soup, you know, boiling them. So. I'm just going to cook that a little bit longer until it's cooked all the way through. So meanwhile, our noodle dough is over there resting <laughs> before we roll it out. And we need to saute the vegetables after this as well. And then we'll be ready to get our soup going. So this is what your egg noodle dough should look like after it's rested for 10 minutes or so. And it's kind of just um, a firm dough, but it shouldn't be too hard at all. It should press down nicely. And you wanna just have this on a lightly floured surface so that when rolling it out, and of course you can use a pasta maker, it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> but when rolling it out, you wanna make sure if you don't use a pasta maker to um, just have enough flour to where it doesn't stick to the cupboard or to the rolling pin. You're gonna need to kind of aggressively roll that out. You can also stretch it a little bit in between rolling. You can see it's starting to get more transparent. But you do have to work a little bit quickly just because you don't want it to dry out before you have cut it into your noodles. So you want to roll it into a, a big sheet, um, probably like an eighth of an inch or, you know, like the width of what you want your egg noodles to be. So about like this or so, so you can kind of see the light through it. It's kind of almost like a thick paper. So I obviously have a very small cupboard space. I have rolled it all the way as far as I can from end to end, but just make sure that, um, again, it's thin enough and then once it's once it's nice and thin almost like a tortilla shell or a little bit thinner than that you're going to want to grab your um knife and just start cutting like vertical lines or you can make them shorter and cut them this way and then we're gonna just dry those noodles out for a little so you bit. You want a sharp knife for this part, and I'll try to show you as best as I can um, how to just cut kind of a straight line and whichever width of noodles that you want. You can make them wider, you can make them a little more narrow. Depends on how chunky you want them to be. 
And you're just gonna go ahead and continue to do that all the way across your noodle dough. And so I'm just gonna speed it up so it doesn't get too boring for you. <laughs> Here we go. So then once you have the noodles um, cut, you're just gonna want to grab them at one end and kind of just lift them up. Um, we're gonna wanna hang them on something. You want to have something where they can kind of hang. Um, I'm actually hanging them just from my covered handles. You can hang them from something else if you want. Some people get like a little drying rack or whatever. So we're just gonna basically hang them so that they dry a little bit. So you're just gonna hang them on something like so. So just hang them in small little groups of six or so at a time. And I ended up just um, kind of putting them on all the different cupboard handles and some over the blender and just whatever you can find to kind of lay, kind of lay them over the top of so they can dry. So after the chicken is done, we're going to just add about a quart or so of water. And this is how you're going to basically make your own chicken broth. Um, just kind of fill up that pan and just stir it around a little bit. And then we're gonna dump this into our nice soup pot and start sauteing the vegetables. So the noodles are drying and I've chopped up the green onion, the celery, and the carrots and um, probably about like a handful of each, so about maybe a cup or so of each, maybe a little bit more carrot, and then celery, and then um, green onion. So we're gonna pop the green onion in the skillet first, saute that for just a couple minutes, and then um, the celery and carrots, and then make a little broth with that, and dump that veggie broth with the vegetables into the soup pot. So when those green onions are sauteed to the point where they're kind of starting to lose their shape a little bit, we're going to add the celery. So after we pop the celery in, we are going to just saute for a couple minutes and then add the carrots. At this point, I do want to Add in some of the same seasonings that we put with the chicken just to get those same seasonings um, kind of incorporated into the vegetables as well. So a little bit of the lemon pepper and a little bit of the ground sage as well as just a touch of the ground ginger, a splash of some oregano, and um, we're out of garlic powder, so that you could put some more in if you have some more. <laughs> so anyway, just kind of stir that around and you can already see that the celery is starting to get a little translucency here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the carrots next. I love the color combination of the nice orange with the green. It's almost like a split complement because red and green are complementary colors. So they really pop next to each other and it just gives the soup a nice, a nice bit of color to have kind of equal amounts of the green and the orange with, of course, those beige elements of the noodles and the chicken. So we're just gonna turn the heat up a tad bit because the carrots take longer to cook, obviously, but we wanna get just a little bit of a brown um, sauteed quality to these vegetables. Just to incorporate those flavors again with some of the seasonings before we just pop them in the pot and boil. 
because boiling it is just the least tasty way to cook anything. <laughs> um, sauteing, broiling, roasting, grilling, all those ways are just so much, you know, add so much more flavor into the meat or vegetables, but boiling is not adding any flavor because it's just, you know, it's water. I mean, sometimes you can boil in broth and that adds a bit of flavor, but anyways, here we go with finishing up the carrots and these veggies. And then we are going to dump another quart of water into this pan and make a little bit of a veggie broth with those vegetables and dump that into the pot where we already have our chicken and chicken broth um, simmering. And that should make a nice vegetable broth with those vegetables and then we're going to go ahead and dump that into our stock pot. So we're just turning the stock pot on high and we're going to bring it to a boil. You can see the chicken and the vegetables and all that nice broth and we are going to then of course after it boils for a while and all the vegetables especially the carrots become really tender then we're gonna add our noodles in while it's boiling on a really high boil to just cook those noodles really quickly. So I swear that some um, actual pasta cook somewhere is going to really get on my case for this, but I am very impatient as some of you might know by now. And so I am going to blow dry these noodles to speed up the drying process just to make sure that they're nice and dry. Now they don't have to be crispy, but you wanna make sure that they are um, decently dried out before you put them in the broth. So I'm just gonna blow dry um, until you no longer feel, until you really no longer feel that kind of like cool wetness to the noodles. So those feel about right and I am now going to just drop these in the broth which is boiling. So your broth should be on a high rolling boil when we drop in the noodles. So we're just going to kind of gently drop those in all around the pan and then stir. Now homemade noodles are going to cook at a much faster pace than completely dried store-bought noodles. So you wanna make sure that you're watching your broth, you're watching your noodles. Um, and it's hard to film because the camera lens keeps steaming up. But you wanna watch them as they cook. It's really only gonna take like a couple minutes. So make sure that you bring your broth, your soup back to a rolling boil after dropping those noodles in. Cook for a minute or two. And now we are going to add, I know some of you have probably been wondering, where's the salt and where's the pepper? Um, I add those last just because a lot of times um, the noodles will absorb, especially salt, more than the vegetables and the chicken. And so it's going to um, not be an even distribution of the flavor if you add it before cooking those noodles. Go ahead and remove your delicious soup from the burner. And I'm going to add a little bit of jalapeno pepper hot sauce, just one little splash. Now you can add um, lemon juice instead if you would prefer not to add hot sauce. 
you just want a little teeny touch of zing or zing or whatever, a little acidity to it um, so that it just kind of like bursts those flavors. And make sure that you've salted it to taste. So be sure to um, sample it and also um, make sure that those vegetables are nice and tender before cooking the noodles. Now the noodles will all rise to the top. So um, definitely, you know, when you serve this, make sure that you scoop under to be sure and get, you know, everything in each serving of this delicious chicken noodle soup. So I hope that you try this out. You're going to definitely enjoy the freshness of the egg noodles and just the, the nice little blend of spices that's in this soup. It's not bland like Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I just can't eat <laughs> that kind of chicken noodle soup. After you eat this, you probably won't want to go back to store-bought. But um, if you need to tweak any of the seasonings, just do so. Make sure that your salt and pepper is to taste as well as all those other seasonings included. So I know you're waiting for me to eat this, <laughs> which I've been waiting to eat it because it is still very hot, but just blow on it a little bit, take a big taste, and I know you're gonna love this soup. Mm. It's so delicious. And the egg noodles really taste um, just like very fresh. You'll be surprised how much of a difference it makes to, to actually make your own noodles for the soup and to saute those vegetables because it, it just makes a very rich broth. Now, if you don't want to make your own noodles, get some store-bought ones. No shame in that. Um, if you don't want to make your own broth, get some store-bought broth, you know, um, just grab a rotisserie chicken, take the chicken off the bone, drop it in your stock pot, add some broth, boil those vegetables in, you know, make your own version, but make sure that, you know, whatever you do, feed your loved ones some good chicken noodle soup because it is food for the soul. It just does seem to comfort anyone who's feeling under the weather and Franklin's feeling under the weather today. Um, Langston was feeling under the weather yesterday. So, you know, I thought it was a good time to go ahead and make some chicken noodle soup for our little winter sickness spell here. <laughs> so take care. I hope all of you stay well. And if you hit a little rough patch where you either need just some comfort or you need to feel better, make some chicken noodle soup, or preferably if you're the one feeling sick, have somebody else watch this video and make it for you.